Hello and welcome to the show. We're back on Factorio, continuing our quest to build a car. We've just kind of got to the big automation point, if you like. We've got to the stage now where we really need to start setting up much better production lines. Well, I say setting up much better, setting up actual production lines rather than this running backwards and forwards to pick up and, and drop off stuff. Now, we have got coal coming in here. That'll be needed for the furnaces, but nothing more than that anymore. We have got electricity going on at the top. We need to get some copper on the go from the left. The only copper... I say the only copper. We've got, we've got a little copper thing going on down in the uh, lower left-hand corner. Somewhere oh, there it is. Over there, still busy working away. However, that was only ever a uh, temporary solution. So we're going to have a new... Uh, drill going on in this corner. Uh, you can see it there for now. We will, of course, have to go and uh, power this one up. But that's not going to be too bad. It's not too far for the old uh, electricity to go from here. Uh, there we go. It's a bit of noise. <laughs> it's not quite ever going to... This is me we're talking about. It's not quite ever going to be perfect in terms of uh, placement for stuff. Ah, damn it. I can't put one over there. Um... I guess I can stay up there for now. We might have to move it again later, but for now, that'll do. Uh, this is only temporary, because we've got to... I say only temporary. We'll stay there. We've got to move some stuff in and around there. Right. We're going to need a lot of iron plates for <laughs> what we're planning on doing here. We are going to need a whole crap ton of iron plates, because we are going to be needing to do... Uh, get a lot of conveyors on the go. Conveyors are very important, and we're going to need all of the inserters etc so let's get all of these on the go now the plan is we are going to be building a whole sort of string of furnaces in the middle we have a whole all the furnaces in the middle so we'll ship the copper into the furnaces the iron into the furnaces so we can kind of have those all centralized at uh, one point and then we can ship the plates out the other side that's the plan that is the plan at the moment. So we'll have the copper come down, sort of come down here and across the front, the iron come down here across the front, and oh, in fact the iron, sorry, from down here and across the front. The coal can come in along the back into the furnaces and jobs are good. And so if we go four, we'll get four for Verni. I still haven't decided if uh, <laughs> furnaces, or, I think furnaces would be the correct plural, but Verni sounds funnier. Uh, right, we will get four of these on the go at the moment. Uh, we probably want... Oh, let's just have a look at something. I'm trying to plan out here. I'm, try, I'm trying to plan out and be efficient. So if we put the power pole in the middle, it means we can get all the inserters that I want around it uh, to work. And for now, this is all we are going to need. I am trying to build in uh, some... Oh, that's a little bit too far. I'm trying to build in some sort of future proofing in that I can expand. So for copper, I can expand left. For iron, I can expand right. Now we are going to need... Uh, we're going to need four inserters. Uh, these are the electrical ones. And we will be having... Actually, we will need uh, eight inserters. We'll be having stuff pulling iron from there. And we're going to have the coal, for now, uh, shipping in at the back. So that will pull... Uh, oh, I might have built an extra one by accident. Oh, happy coincidence. We need another three then. Yeah, that lot there is going to pull iron in. This lot here is going to pull the copper in. It's going to run down that way. Uh, da, 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 that way is what we want for that. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I've got them all symmetrical. I say symmetrical. Because uh, these are like two blocks wide. These take up one block. They're never going to sit neatly in the middle. But we do actually need it to be two blocks wide for how I'm planning on getting this to all, uh, to all work. Uh, let's go and get more iron plates. And then we can finally, <laughs> finally start proper... I guess, automation with all of this guff, uh, which will be nice. It'll be nice to have proper auto automation going on. And right, so we want to have this lot coming down there. And we will have from... Oh, we'll get a little bit closer, of course. <laughs> it's very, very tempting to try and build stuff. Um, you end up zooming out a lot in this game. You want to end up trying to build stuff from absolutely miles away. Perfect. That can run in there. This uh, will not be able to run over here just yet. We're not going to have enough anyway. Oh, it definitely helps if you put it in the right bloody place. Uh, right, we have got... Hello, little kitten. So I've got a cat has come up and decided that she wants attention. 
Are you going to come meow for the microphone tomorrow? Or are we getting... No, we're... No, okay. <laughs> Just comes up and kind of knocks against your leg to get your attention. Um... We've got all the inserters we need, so let's just go and build a crap ton more belts. <laughs> and then we're going to have to get the coal across the top. I believe that one that one coal mine should be enough, more than enough, in fact, to feed all of the stuff that we've got going on here. The coal mine there should be plenty to feed all of this. Uh, you can come up here and we want to turn there. Yeah, that can run across there. Effect, and then we've got 39 drill, 39 bits for everything else. Ah, oh, look at that! I've done a half decent job in terms of my uh, electricity going on. <laughs> Certainly a damn sight, but you don't want to see the first attempts I did at power poles and the incredible mess that I got in. <laughs> it was, it was outstandingly god awful. The mess that I got in with the. Uh, with the first attempt at electricity pylons. Right. Now we go and run this over here. And then we might as well just put it up there. And then that way. Oh. Crashing into the furnace. Oh. <laughs> really? Really? That's, uh, never mind. <laughs> we are forever going to be needing these. So I don't know really too much. Right. Ha ha. Perfect. Now. Of course, these are going to be... In fact, we might even have... I've, I've said I've given it redundancy and I've gone and built this bloody thing in the wrong... I'm an idiot, but... <laughs> yeah, I really am. Uh, never mind. Never mind. So, now we've got two smelteries on the go constantly making iron. We've got two smelteries on the go constantly making copper. That's what we need. Uh, in fact, we're going to probably need... We are definitely going to need more smelteries. So let's get... Uh, we'll get another two each. That should be good. We should have enough to do this uh, for each side. So we'll get another one. Uh, let's just try and think. Where am I going to want the power? I'm, again, I'm thinking efficiency here. I'm thinking efficiency. So we can stick that there. We can then get another two inserters on this side for fueling that. We'll need another two for the other side. We'll need another few more tracks. And you can go... Oh, wait, we're putting them on the right-hand side as we look at it from this angle. Uh, with the inserters. Perfect. And then you can run along there. That should... Well, it's doubled our, doubled our output of copper plates. We should be getting an awful lot of these, actually. Which is very nice indeed. I mean, for the actual building of the car itself. Um, we don't need 100% to have the most crazy of uh, systems here that we are kind of building up, but we are going to need to be doing a lot of research stuff, and to kind of save time later down the line actually helps to have this sort of uh, this sort of setup. So I will be going for... I will be going for as if I was continuing further with the game, and uh, and I just enjoy building these elaborate, elaborate systems. Right, so if we then go furnace, furnace, there. We need another four of those. And then we stick the power cables in there. And we can have a... Oop, you can grab that. You can then grab that. And voila! Excellent. Excellent indeed. This is what we, <laughs> this is what we wanted to see. And again, this is the you know, the point, the fun when it comes to Factorio. Why are you... Oh, I guess that one there was full or something. Uh, that one there is not getting... Have, have an extra bit of ore going on. Now, we've probably got a few too many furnaces, in fact, at this stage. There are a few that are now ending up um, running out of ore. But that, that's okay. I would kind of have them running out of ore than just having a big old queue of ore going on. Makes more sense to me to have them slightly running out of ore at times than the other way around. It keeps us keeps us efficient. How are we doing up here with the... Right, we're going to need some fuel. Uh, I did say we were going to go and get a separate machine. Now, this thing is only running at about... What is that? A quarter? Maybe a little bit over a quarter uh, capacity. So that isn't burning through fuel as quickly as it can do. When you, when you max one of these out, this drinks coal like mad it, it really it really goes uh, so 
yeah, we've got to be got to be aware of that. Uh, I think actually we're now kind of caught up with all of the backlog of ores that we had, and we are actually only needing a couple of uh, couple of machines. Well, that means that we can go and get a little bit crazier with our mining operations, if you like. We can just go stick another miner down here, another miner by the copper, and get more. That is what we want, really, isn't it? At the end of the day, we want more materials uh, because we're going to get started with the science soon. We're going to get started with the research and... To speed that up, it helps to have plenty of resources. Can we... Oh, fantastic. We can put that over there, and we don't have to end up colliding with anything. Right. And Now, <laughs> see, I've added more furnaces, and now I've added more drills. I'm going back to the stage of queuing up resources. However, I want more. I want, I want more. We, we can deal with more. We've got perfect amount of space and so on to deal with more. So, let's do uh, that. Oh, piss. Is that... Ah. <laughs> Okay, so we have to have one there. In, in my attempts to try and not have a horrendous mess of wires, that actually works out quite nicely there. You can all chain into there. We probably only need... Yeah, five furnaces is probably good for two mines, I would imagine. Uh, but this, this will, of course, run out a little bit of uh, materials for a brief second when everything was turned off. How are you doing over here? You are all going well. Look at that. We're up to... Nearly 300 copper, nearly 200 iron. Perfect. That means we can build a lab. Now, we're going to have loads of these. We're going to have loads of these over time. Uh, however, to start with, we only need one. My plan for these... Ooh, where are we going to put them? Uh, we're probably going to want them down in this gap over here. Again, space is going to be very, very needed because we're going to need a big, long production line to get stuff to the lab. We'll, we'll see why today, I should think. Well, certainly we'll start making progress. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass uh, in that we are going to have to run a power cable over here, which is a long way to go for it. But, uh, again, it's, it's future-proofing everything is what we're doing here. Uh, if we stick... Yes, because we'll have resources coming in from the front and the back, so that's... Fine, so we'll just run the cable straight up here. Oh, that's in a wrong place. And then we can... Oh, can we get that into the lovely corner bit? Look at that. Perfect. So now the lab is being... Ele ele electrified? Electricityed? Sure. Uh, the first thing we're doing, automation. Uh, the basic tech, and one that comes with some very, very useful uh, things. Most importantly being the long-reach uh, loaders, or lo long-reach inserters, sorry. We need those as, at the moment, trying to get stuff out of these, I'm having to do it manually. I can't, I can't unload these without clicking on them myself, because there's not enough space around it for me to have another conveyor belt and so on. So, with the long-reach ones, we can then build a conveyor belt system to run alongside, like, for example, where we have the iron ore here, we can have a conveyor system running alongside that to then plonk the completed plates onto, and then that can run into an assembler, then that can start building components, and it snowballs from there, essentially, is what we're going to be, what we're going to be doing. I think we needed ten of the science potions for this first tech. Uh, I can't remember how many it needs to, uh, to complete it. And then we get the, the long-handed insert, and we get the assembling machine. So this basically will auto-craft stuff. It only auto-craft basic stuff for me, but we only need to worry about basic stuff at the moment. Uh, okay, so things down there... Oh, the inserters run out of electricity now. I don't care about that anymore. We'll go and collect all the bits at some point. Right. Matt can go and do some science. Basically, science in this game is done by electrocuting chemical potions. Now, <laughs> I don't know how much science is actually done by electrocuting little chemical potions, but it sounds entertaining enough, so we'll go with that. We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll go with that as being a uh, science-y way. Yeah, this is, this is perfect. Four furnaces are perfectly working for this amount of ore. If anything, I think one of them might turn off ever so fractionally of the iron ore. The copper seems to be going... Oh, yeah. One will turn off from, from both of them. But that's pretty efficient. That's pretty efficient. The coal we've got an awful lot of. Now, we could, I guess, ship some up 
to here, but it's just an expense in terms of uh, conveyor belts. So we'll just kind of run along, grab some, and then go for a little bit of a jog while everything gets done, while the science is continuing to be to be made. And you can have uh, another full stack of coal. Now, with the science building going and with more, with assemblers going, it's going to quickly get, that's going to quickly get hungry for coal. And in fact, uh, no, it probably would be okay. This, this, the amount that we're producing here would probably be okay to feed these and to feed a very hungry uh, <laughs> boiler. But I might as well just build a new one. It might, it's probably going to be cheaper to build a new drill and ship it over there as it is to build splitters and send that coal the, the long way round. Uh, in fact, where even is the splitter tech for this? Is that on... When do we get that? Oh, I get on that logistics. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> Basically. Come on. Hurry up. Finish the automation. In fact, I better go check that we don't need any more of the red vials. I'm fairly sure it's 10 that we need. Yeah. Perfect. Right, now we have important stuff. Now we have important stuff. We might as well get started on logistics. We need it for the car. Uh, however, we're only going to have one potion, then we're going to run out. I don't really want to be crafting any more potions myself. It's... Uh, time consuming and I'd rather be doing other things so we're going to try and automate it all now to do that we're going to go pick up a whole bunch more stuff because we're going to need to be building more things oh thank you autosave right what we are going to be needing is eight of these the long-handed inserters so one two three four five six seven eight now these are going to pull out the material that we've been making in the furnaces, we will get some more. Oh, we will probably go and build. We need an assembling machine. Just to make these potions, we need an iron gear and a copper plate. So per potion, we need one of each. Now, the plates just come straight from the furnaces. The gears have to be crafted from two iron plates. So we will get a whole bunch more of the transport belts made. Then we will... Oh, I don't... Do I want to... Probably don't want to start pulling out of there just yet because it will start dumping it on the floor. Uh, <laughs> let's get the belts ready to go. Right, so we're going to have... This belt here is going to run along and then come down this way. We're going to do the same over here for the copper. Oh, oh, there we go. That's what we want. And there. Right. Perfect. That's still busy making me plenty more. Then we are going to want this side. We want an assembler, don't we? We're going to want an assembler here because this is the side that needs to be making gears. Now, if we put an assembler... Yeah, we're going to need two assemblers, actually, because we need one, of course, for the gears. We need one for the uh, actual potions when we've got that ready. And there we go. Assembler is made. Excellent. So if we stick this along here, seems like a safe place to me we will get uh, let's get a bunch more inserters as well yeah, sort of the 10 or so inserters we will <laughs> we will use them at some point trust me we will use them all at some point i made an extra one of these by accident okay so this will now start chucking hopefully oh we need to put them the other way around that should start pulling out from the there we go we'll start pulling out from the um, furnaces and plopping it down onto the conveyor belts, which is what we want. Now, you're going to be making some iron gears. Uh, you are not powered currently, but there we go. Now, I'm also going to, because uh, we're going to be having an excess of these iron plates, and we do still need them, of course, for building stuff in my inventory, we are going to um, place a chest for the excess the overload essentially to go in that's now going to be full of those so we need to have another inserter taking oh let's get that conveyor belt first uh, let's get a conveyor so the inserter doesn't just drop a whole bunch of important stuff on the floor we'll have a conveyor belt coming back this way and then we will have an inserter doing the important business over here this is where we're going to start getting fiddly with the power lines isn't it there we go that's okay right now we've got the gears on the go. Gears are coming out. That's filling up nicely with plates. Um, there is still some starting to clog up the belt. To be fair, I can just go whoop and hoover up all of those <laughs> to help help those machines start emptying them. Let's just grab one of these. Ah, we're making many resources. Life is good at the moment. Life is good indeed. So we've got gears coming down there. 
That can shut. We'll start chucking out the. Oh no, it'll happen that way around, don't we? Uh, that can start throwing out the plates onto this belt. We will have another. Uh, uh, we have an inserter down here. Uh, maybe not just yet. We'll wait for that part in a second. Right. Then comes the important thing of putting these gears into potions. Now I'm going to build this over here. I know we're going to need more belts, but it gives us room to expand operations as and when we need to expand operations, basically. So we will run gears to, oops, to there. We will run plates to, oops, easy. come on now, plates to there. And uh, I think that's, I think I've spaced that correctly. So that can now, yep. That can grab from there, that can grab from there. We can power it all from a single power pole over there when we can get it to it. There we go. That then can be assigned potion making! Haha! <laughs> Look at that! We are going! Now, we do also, of course, need the, the uh, inserter here to start boxing up the excess copper plates again for us. And actually keep that very busy. Uh, <laughs> Because there's plenty on the go. In fact, I think I've... Uh, actually, no, I haven't done this wonky. I've got a plan. <laughs> I always have a plan. Always have a plan. Uh, and if not, pretend you did. And happy coincidences happen. Because now, these things produce potions very, very slowly. It's a, a long time to craft. So we're producing far more gears and far more copper plates than that single thing can make. So we're going to have another one. We're going to have another one on the go down here. Uh, we can... Uh, in that around so we can then pipe down there we can then also go whoop, get around that corner we can then curve that around there oh whoop, that's a little bit too close uh, <laughs> keep forgetting about that got to remember the uh, your spacings and then that can come down there whoops don't want the fish <laughs> i don't know why i still have the bloody fish but there we go and then that can grab from there that can grab from there jobs a good one kind of for now. Uh, oh, is that power hole not connected? Bugger. Uh, in fact, actually, there's a dumb place for inserters because they're really awkward to... Oh, no, that's a dumb place for that as well. We need a, we need a, we need an extra gap. Oh, I'm in the way. We need an extra gap so we can power pole it uh, there. There you go. All about neatness, which is rare for me, but uh, <laughs> in this instance, more satisfying, shall we say. Right, now, you can get on the old science potions. Now, I don't want to be picking these up and manually going to put them in the you know, in, in a research lab. Why on earth would I want to be doing any manual labour in this? So, we are going to, again, run another belt all the way down here. Oh, we're going to need a couple more. Damn, not quite enough. A couple more over there. We will then have another inserter to pick up stuff and chuck it. Ooh, bugger! <laughs> Got distracted! Sorry, we've run out of fuel. Everything's, everything's off. Everything's off. Uh, yoink, 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 yoink. Uh, thankfully, the conveyor belts and so on, they don't need to worry about power. Oh, yeah, this is where we start. This is starting to now get... I've actually had plenty of coffee. Oh, that's starting to get very thirsty now that we've got all of this on the go. We will deal with that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> let's get it started producing the um, science. Let's get the science stuff on the go. So then we will yank out of those. That will then stick the potions on. One more of those, and then we will be sorted. So far, I hate to say this, but so far, <laughs> it's actually going pretty well. Uh, oh, I say that, I've cocked it up down here. Yoink! Let's just grab all of those. That can go in there. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, <laughs> it's one further away than we thought it was. Uh, we should stop that, because you don't need to go any further further. Uh, you're good, you're powered. Oh, of course, that's full. Right! That's all going. Now, with these two things on the go, we're probably actually going to be making more science than that can deal with. However, we need a new uh, drill system, because that's, yeah, I mean, that's kind of three quarters. In fact, sometimes it's peaking out at almost, yeah, almost full. So, that's burning through an astronomical amount of coal. We can, we can deal with that. We can solve that issue with a quick little bit... Ooh, we need some more iron plates. We'll go grab some out of the box that should helpfully be filling up. Uh, over here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> We've got a ni nice backlog of gears for now. They will be useful for other stuff later on, and as we expand our operation down there, they'll be used for that as well. So, 
there will be need for them, that much is for sure. So let's get that drill on the go. Let's get a whole bunch more of these made. Um, we, we are always, always needing them. All right, drill. Let's place you up in this corner. Now, we will we'll need an inserter over there as well, won't we? Of course. It's much easier. When you're dealing with electric drills, much easier to... Uh, work with the <laughs> when you're dealing with the bloody uh, awful coal stuff well we do need to, I don't know where when you get to I, I imagine at some point you will get to electric furnaces or some equivalent of um, I look forward to it because we do annoyingly have to still deal with uh, oh did I have I might have had an electric drill hanging around um, without realizing or I made two by accident oh well so that's now doing that we have an inserter ready to go doesn't have to be it's going to be just out of range, isn't it? Oh, well. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a massively uh, fast one. Once we've got that coal appearing, should be more than enough. Also, because that's still got 13 in it, it will stack up for a little while first. Now, we will not run out of electricity. Certainly not because the boilers run out. We might run out of electricity because that's maxed out. It's, it's, it's pretty much maxed out now. Uh, so, we will probably be needing another steam engine actually uh, we can do that we can get another steam engine they're pretty cheap to make and the boiler should be good to power two steam engines from my experience so far anyway they've been good to power two steam engines let's get a couple more uh, get a few more pipes ready right that uh, we should probably go upwards rather than down if we go down we start building ourselves to a corner and I don't want to do that uh, pipes should be good to go up here that then is being powered. Look at that, now to 50% each. Uh, the steam is still building up in the pipe, so we're still building an excess of steam so far in there. That's what we like to see. Okay. All right, copper is going. This lot here is going. Logistics is being researched nice and smoothly. We've got a huge backlog of science potions. This is good. This is good. We can build two more of those. We'll have to go grab some iron somewhere. Uh, we might be making an excess of gears at the moment. <laughs> I'll be honest, we are making quite the excess of gears for now. Uh, but I guess when you know when when that's full up, when they're all full up of using, it'll that will stop pulling it. So this lot here is always going to get dumped in that chest anyway. Uh, copper plates, we've got, pl we've got stacks of copper plates going on. Good, good. This is what we like to see. So we can have a biodome over here. Oh wait, uh, I do want to possibly leave a gap between the biodomes if we can and or i should say that i shouldn't call them biodomes call them like electric arcing domes because that's all it seems to do in them oh, we do need a couple more power poles as well while we're here and there power poles will sort those out now there is a very good reason why i'm leaving them with plenty of space at the back because when we start getting into the more complex uh research stuff we do need to have two different types of potions going in to the domes but you get to the real high-end stuff you need four now that's not something that we're going to need to do when we're making a car however yeah if you, i think if you want to make the tank that will take uh four different potions voila there we go we've done logistics one that's completed uh for the car we need uh electrics we need logistics two we need steel we need engines and automation two not too bad not too bad in terms of uh, in terms of text so that one there can we know the electrics on the go we've got more than enough science potions being made uh, in fact we're gonna have to get some more we'll get some more science domes uh being constructed because this is yeah i mean we're we're producing more potions than we can use and we've got more than enough resources to make more potions so everything is going well everything is going well and now you see why you want to make sure you've got plenty of space for your factory now i could build like, this setup i have here i could build it more compact but i wouldn't want to because i am going to have to expand this operation soon um so you need the space to expand into i mean i might even build this a little bit too compact if i was going to be playing a lot further into the game this might be a bit too compact however for what i need it to do we should be okay we certainly will be for a little while uh, <laughs> that though is uh, going to be it for this video thank you very much for watching and until next time uh goodbye